All right, what is happening, everybody? We are here for uh, March's PSA Pokemon What's the Population Increase to see what PSA knocked out for the month of March 2022 and um, yeah, see the increase in hollows and kind of dive into the numbers a little bit for the What's the Generation. So we can see, I'm going to get right off the right off the bat, base 26743, so almost 27,000. 10% of those were graded as 10s, just 43 out of the 27,000 were, were PSA 10 hollows. So a little bit more than last month, you know, February's numbers, but they just really aren't grading hollows and 10s. It just really is a, such a small number coming through. Uh, jungle, 10,500 were graded through the month, uh, 1,500 were 10s, and out of those, 26 hollows so a little more than last month um fossil 9000 a little over with uh, just over a thousand being tens and 46 being hollows in a 10. what was interesting was base two there was a little increase in the mount graded so they graded almost 3000 cards from base two through march and just three were a 10 hollow so i don't know if it's hard or they're just not getting sent in i would imagine most of the time it's you know a couple of the big hitters that are getting sent in probably not a whole lot of the hollows getting sent but who knows rocket um almost eleven thousand. i think that was the biggest increase um there's a lot of rocket cards got sent in so maybe someone's collection you know a couple of people sent them in they are obviously a very popular set uh, but also, um, what what I did see was a 68 out of the 11,000 with 10 hollows, and I noticed that we finally had an increase in Dark Raichu. So you know, I noted that there there was one unlimited Dark Raichu that added to population. There were 26. There's now 27. So not many, not many at all. If you can get your hands on one of those, I would strongly urge you to. Um, heroes. A little over 3,000, 10% of those, a little over 10% were PSA 10s, and just 37, so, you know, a little over 1% were, were 10 hollows. Um, Neo Genesis, almost 3,000, with 10% being 10s, and um, just 14 out of the 3,000, almost 3,000, just 14 were a 10 hollow, so definitely low there. Neo Discovery, a little over 1,000, a little under 10% came through as a 10. And then out of those, just eight were uh, a 10 hollow. Revelation, uh, we had 1300, uh, a little over, with just six being a hollow. I know before the month of February, there was just one added. You can see that there. But six is still very low to say that there's you know, 1300 graded. Very low number. Uh, Neo Destiny. A little over 2,000 graded with 10 coming back as a 10 hollow. Legendary collection, 1,300. Um, and we actually had two PSA 10 hollows added. So they have a very, very small population. There's only 418 hollows um, that are graded as a 10 for legendary. I know there's the res reverses and they're probably more popular. Uh, I didn't dig into that as a separate data point. Um, yeah, but that is something that maybe we should look at one day for the hollows super low not get not many getting sent in I don't think that are in they're in top quality Aquapolis was interesting because they only graded 516 um, and Again, the numbers were pretty high in terms of the 10 population so 70 of those were 10 and 15 of those were a, a 10 hollow so pretty pretty decent number in terms of getting a hollow for, for a 10 with uh, Aquapolis. Skyridge, pretty similar too. You know, not even a thousand graded, a little under a thousand graded. And 37 of them were, were a 10 hollow. So pretty good in that sense. Um, total numbers, we had uh, 80,000 almost, 78,000 were graded from PSA. Uh, what's the generation for Pokemon during March? 10,001 of those were 10s. So clearly there's a lot of commons and 
you know things out reverses that kind of stuff outside of outside of the hollows because they only graded 379 uh, PSA 10 hollows out of almost 80,000 cards so if you're a collector and, and you're wondering why some of these prices are <laughs> so high there you go there's your number that's, that's why it's so scarce some of the cards are just so difficult to get in a 10 hollow to grade at a 10 hollow from raw but also to buy in a 10 hollow because the prices are so high you know some of them are crazy so yeah definitely interesting what was interesting um was yet again we had a decrease in the amount of the percentage that were graded at 10 so we were at 19.45 last month and we dropped down to 19.02 this month for march um 10 hollows dropped it again everything graded from one to nine went up half a percent almost so we can see that backlog that period in time still you know there's different reasons for it i guess people sending in more bulk more collections older stuff just generally wanting to get cards graded thinking they're worth a fortune and yeah not so many 10 hollows coming out as you would maybe want definitely uh worse numbers and you know people have said they've got a little bit stricter I don't know. I don't know if you guys saw my last PSA return. I pre-graded my cards. I picked out five clean ones, and 80%, you know, four out of five came through as a 10. So I really think a big part of it is down to the person sending them in. I, I mean, it, it's that simple for me. I, th I think that is 90% of it is knowing that it is a 10, not you think it could get a 10, but knowing this is a 10, because a couple of those cards, that's pretty confident they were going to be tens. <laughs> like I, if you really study the cards you know like you really know if it's clean and centered perfectly it has to be perfect so it's that clear uh i hope you enjoyed that um let me know if you guys have any thoughts any questions nothing too crazy pops out to me um pretty steady flow just like last month but just wanted to kind of keep you guys in the loop each month with how that's looking how many they are knocking out i'm intrigued to see after this backlog dies down a little bit how many are, are going to be getting graded how many are still being sent in you know throughout this year how many are still going in who knows i, I would think it's probably going to be a pretty steady decline uh most of them are probably from the economy and value submissions back in the day but we'll see so thanks for tuning in guys i hope you enjoyed it uh let me know what you think and uh i'll catch you on the flip side